Hi, Rolly. Yeah. Hi, so happy Sunday, everybody. This is Mira here from Everyday Cooking with Mira. I am in my kitchen and on a busy, warm Sunday, but I'm busy here in the kitchen uh, meal prepping. Uh, and I'm getting nervous because my husband is behind the camera. Say hello to Thomas. Hello. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, as I said, I'm doing a bit of me uh, meal prepping today and I'm sweating because I've been cooking for about an hour already and we went shopping this morning. We did, like I usually do my um, a weekly shopping with all my fruits and my vegetables and I also have, it's a bit dirty now, I have a meal plan, a weekly meal plan already and I've done a five weeks meal plan and I have the shopping list that goes along with it so this morning i just grabbed my grabbed my shopping list and i went shopping i got much more than i wanted of course <laughs> uh, that's the way i usually do and i came home put the shopping away organized a few bits in the presses and in the fridge in the freezer and i started um, meal prepping so i didn't have plan to cook something today because i thought thomas was going to cook but um we made it <laughs> We made a few changes and I had some rice in the fridge already so I changed my meal. I'm actually going to make my Friday meal today which is a roasted aubergine and chickpea curry. With, I was supposed to have it with cauliflower rice but I'm going to use a normal red rice. So here I have some roasted aubergine. I used six, six aubergine in all this now and I've uh, drizzled some olive oil some whole cumin seeds, turmeric, salt, and I don't think I uh, added pepper. This is the first time I'm making this curry now. So we'll see how it goes and I'm sure it's going to be turn, it, it will turn out okay. Uh, so what I also did is I cooked some quinoa in my instant pot. So this is some turmeric quinoa see how fluffy it looks so this will do me for a few lunches during the week and I have the kids lunches here and I also roasted some stem broccoli and some cauliflower sorry some cusk uh, what am I talking about quinoa, some quinoa right? yeah that's quinoa and I've also made some homemade Chicken nuggets, kill it. Yeah, it's homemade. It's, it's goujons, isn't it? Yeah, chicken goujons. Yeah, thank you, Thomas. <laughs> so it's I just put the chicken fillet and I blended some oats and flax seeds and I seasoned with some salt and pepper and I thought they were bananas. Bananas? No, they weren't. <laughs> I thought you made some kind of banana pudding. Yeah, I, I, cooked so, I cooked so much with uh, bananas, so I thought it was bananas. <laughs> so I should have added some turmeric maybe for, for color, because I'm using oats here. Uh, it's kind of whitish, but it's, it's cooked and of course I tasted it. So this is very, like it took me, it took me maybe 20 minutes or half an hour in total. Like just blend some oats to make a flour and add some flaxseed, season it with salt and pepper and put the chicken in some egg, beaten egg and then the flour. So that will do me again for a whole week and I'm just going to add it in the kids lunchbox. And myself, Thomas and Katie, she's 18, she'll be 18 soon. So we all will be eating the same thing. And this is how you see, if, if we want to feed our family well with whole foods, you know, all week, it just needs a bit of prepping. Like, I'm not going to be making lunches at all during the week now, because this is going to be prepared and put in the fridge. And the reason I am giving the kids kind of a small portion of a dinner instead of bread and sandwiches because after school, they will be going to a play school and they come home around half five. So I just want to make sure that they are full and not really hungry. They do get a meal uh, in the play school, but this is my way of avoiding bread um, 
and it's easier for me to to give them this instead so this is how many one two three four five six seven so this is 14 tops now um yeah so how are we is anybody yeah we've got video hi my sister is in uh yeah yeah Hi, dear. <laughs> Maybe yes? Okay. Yes. So. I don't know. Okay. So we are just going to make some roasted aubergine and some chickpea curry. And the chickpeas are uh, from a can. But if you want to soak the dried ones and boil them and so on, you can do that. But I'm going to make a quick curry. So this is me. And. I usually, I prefer to use coconut oil instead of vegetable oil and I'm using my coconut oil here. This is Eco Coconut. This is the first time I bought this from Lidl here in Ireland. Uh, I don't know if you can get it in all the shops. And I've mentioned before that my knife skills are yeah, mind your fingers. <laughs> quite bad. I had quite a few uh, accidents <laughs> before. So don't be following my knife skills at all. If you want to chop them um, in smaller size, that's, that's okay too. How much oil are you using? Um, I don't know really, maybe about uh, half a teaspoon or half a tablespoon. Okay. But even one tablespoon is good uh, because t uh, coconut oil is quite good and it's an easy way to get energy. I'm going to explain that in an email. I can't talk about it right now. <laughs> <laughs> and so we just fry the onion. Now remember this is a very quick meal. So while, while my onions are frying, I'm just going to grate maybe two or three garlic cloves and a piece of ginger. Do that again slowly. So, How do you get the, uh, the skin okay. off it so, so quickly? Okay, so, so now just be careful with the knife. Don't be using a sharp knife or maybe just be careful. So, I just cut it in the middle. Okay. And like that. Okay. And maybe with the help of the knife here. And here. Okay. I can do it one more time. So, down the middle, pull, pull again. Just like that. So I don't know the name of this thing now. I got it from my sister-in-law, Geraldine, Thomas's sister, uh, down in Galway. So she gave me this. Um, she bought it from the, from the farmer's market in Galway. But I don't know how this is called. Do you know the name of this? No. Name? Is there a name? It's so it's old. just like, um, how do you call this? It's got like edges. Edges, yeah. So we just grate this here. I usually have a jar of garlic and ginger paste made in the fridge for a few weeks but I haven't had time to make it so I'm just using this for a quick that's pretty good yeah quite quick you can use a grate as well if you don't have this or maybe uh, crush it in the mold. mortar and pestle Motor and pestle. I never can get this word correctly. Now keep an eye on the onion. It's on the mayor then. Both. <laughs> and Thomas will be making it next week. <laughs> no. <laughs> so this is three cloves of garlic. You can, you can, you, no, you can see it up. And, and a big knob. Do we say knob of ginger? You're gonna use all that ginger? 
I really I like ginger and ginger is anti-inflammatory so why not use it in every single thing from porridge smoothie juices uh, salads like a salad dressing you can grate some and yeah eat ginger every day so again I'm using this kind of uh, thing here and grate it. Thomas was going to make a roast dinner today, but we've changed the plan. So we may be making it during the week. Mm. What were you going to make for your Sunday roast, Thomas? Uh, roast beef. Roast beef. What were you going to do? Mashed potatoes, gravy. Yeah. Very Irish. Veg, you know. Yeah. What would be your veg? Whatever you want for me. <laughs> Whatever you tell me. Maybe broccoli. Yeah. And peas. Peas. Uh, green beans. So when I when I cook dinner, this is our let's say this is our plate. So my my our plate. If I cook, the half of the plate would be with green, and the rest would be a piece of meat or something. But if Thomas cooks, um, half meat. Half meat, quarter mash. A bit more. Let <laughs> little three quarter mash and small maybe five peas on the side. <laughs> Good balance there. Yeah. So. Now, see, I, I, I will, I'm not going to count how long I fry the onion for, but I'll, as soon as my ginger and garlic paste is ready, then my onions are ready to go. What now? And then just a few. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. So I'm using about nine cherry tomatoes here, but if you are using plum tomatoes, you can use about four. Or if you have if you're using canned chopped tomatoes, you can use about half. And I'm just going to chop them roughly. Okay. It's cooking on high heat now. So I just let the tomato reduce. Um, Anything. Then I'm going to add my homemade curry powder. How do you make that? Uh, okay. Uh, Thirty minutes. Okay. So these are my my jars. I usually recycle my my jar. I I won't be buying from uh, the shop. So I recycle my jars and I put um, just a note here. So this is whole cumin, just a pinch of whole cumin in here. What's that? This is turmeric. Okay. Again, turmeric uh, is anti-inflammatory, but you need to be eating it with fat. So there's coconut oil fat, fat with, yeah. yeah. So the absorption is easier with fat. So if you're adding it in a juice or a smoothie, make sure there's a fat, fat content like avocado, almonds, um, not what is it? Not milk or something like that. So about about one one teaspoon. Uh, does that have to cook in? I mean, I mean you need to, to, to buy the turmeric or how long before you add something else? Um, it, it, it's okay, you can even add it at the end. Okay. But the cumin needs a bit of toasting. Right. Uh, 
and like if you if you burn cumin cumin seeds it can taste a bit bitter that's why I didn't put it straight in their oil first Oh yeah. If I can say to myself. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to add one can of uh, chickpeas. You can use butter beans, lentils black beans, kidney beans, any, any sort of beans, but from the can. Grain, yes? Huh? Grain? Grain, yes. Yeah, grain. I'm going to add about two tablespoons of my homemade curry powder. I have to make some more. So there's cinnamon, uh, whole cinnamon, whole cloves, whole cumin. Turmeric, uh, what else? Nutmeg, ginger. I can't remember what else. So toast all the spices first. I'm going to write a recipe about it in two weeks. So what else? Um, so toast all the spices in a pan and then use a coffee grinder to grind it. And that's curry powder. But you need to know the amount of uh, any different spices. So just stir it and add not too much water, just a little bit to make it paste. Wow, that smells good. Yeah. I could I could even add some chili powder in this, in my curry paste, no, in my curry powder or slice one one or two chilies in here, but the kids are going to eat this so I won't be adding chilies. We have to, this step is very, is very crucial now. We want the, the spices to cook. If you taste, if you eat raw uh, curry powder, kind of, it doesn't have enough flavor. So we want this process to be slow, like maybe five, seven minutes, five to seven minutes, but make sure not to burn it either. So add a drop of water to help it, so it doesn't burn. Now, if you want to go fancy and uh, blanch your tomatoes and remove their skins or chop the onions uh, finely, you can do that, but my cooking is very quick and rustic. <laughs> and if I wasn't talking so much, this would take me maybe half of the time, I don't know, but le less time, of course. They're oven on for a long time in the kitchen, so it's actually boiling here. So I'm going to season it. Ellie Shilliman is here with us. Huh? Evening, ma'am. Yeah. Hi, Ellie. It's good to see you. It's good to you, for you to see me. <laughs> Join us. 
I am making a roasted aubergine and chickpea curry. It's a very, very quick curry that I'm making for today. And this is my roasted aubergine. So just slice the aubergine um, like uh, this size and drizzle it with some olive oil, cumin seeds, whole cumin seeds, turmeric powder and salt and roast it for about 15 to 20 minutes. So this aubergine is like almost almost cooked. Yeah, it's, it's actually cooked, yeah. So we just want, uh, at the end, we're going to add it in the curry so it stays whole and um, keeps the shape. And I'm also making uh, the kids lunch for the week. So this is my Sunday meal prep um, thing going on here. And I've also, have, I've also got some organic little gem lettuce. So I'm going to make some Caesar salad for the adults for the week. So back to my curry. So again, the, the chickpeas are cooked, the aubergine is cooked. And you just have to kind of cook the curry paste before you add the aubergine. So if you, if you see the oil bubbling, this is the water bubbling, but if you see the oil on the edges bubbling, that means your curry paste is ready. I don't want it to be too liquid. I want it to be a dry-ish curry. Sorry, excuse me. So I won't be adding too much water, just enough to uh, soak, for the aubergine to soak the, the curry flavor. So maybe five, or min five more minutes for this to boil and then we're going to add the aubergine. Uh, is there any questions? Or Sunday, I know people are resting probably at the beach. <laughs> but I'm busy here cooking. But I've, I've, done, I've done this last week as well. I spent about four hours in the kitchen and it saved me so much time. We didn't really cook during the week because I had, I had um, a few things prepped and put in the fridge for the whole week. So... The reason I'm doing this now is two about two weeks ago I started my course about two weeks ago I started my course and it is a little too much for me so the kids are in the crash uh, after the, the crash the play school after the school and my young one two and a half Benjamin he is with me three days so I don't really have too much time to for studying so the reason I'm meal prepping on Sunday so it gives me uh, some more time during the week for me to study while the kids are not here and um, do that make sense yeah <laughs> and um, yeah so that's the reason why i'm doing it so during the week i don't want to be spending hours cooking as you know like before i would be cooking every single day i make breakfast lunch dinner and of course snacks and all that so last last sunday i had made two big trays of um, breakfast bars i made a big pot of apple butter and i made that was lovely yeah the so are the bars actually yeah so the bar yeah i have the recipe for it's early the yet, you know? huh? it's early yet. <laughs> i have the recipe for the baked oat bar oat and banana bar bars so the recipe is on the website the butter, butter apple butter is coming in a few weeks and what else did i cook last sunday yeah i roasted this such a big tray of uh broccoli roasted car roasted carrots and what else would carrots beetroots and chicken as well and chicken yeah so that covered the whole uh, week's lunch so this week is just this no it's not just so i think i'm ready to add the version If 
you didn't want to roast the aubergine, and you could add it, um, you know, like raw in the curry and let it cook for maybe 15, 10, 15 minutes. But the reason I roasted it, I want the aubergine to stay, um, to keep the shape, so it doesn't go mushy. Benjamin. Mm -hmm. yeah. not a curry day but if you make it during the week don't forget to take a picture and tag me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter Did you say it's not a curry day no Sunday is not a curry day is it who says that I don't know Sunday is a rose day oh, mm -hmm. yeah. okay. yeah. and there's okay, no every meat. day is a good day for curry yeah, every day, yeah, every day is a good day. Every day curries, every day, yeah, every day curries. So I don't want to be overcooking this now. Just maybe, maybe four or five minutes more. And if you wanted to add some prawns, you could add prawns in this, or maybe shredded chicken, leftover shredded chicken. Oh yeah, if you if you make your roast today and if you have a small portion of uh, chicken for tomorrow, you can make the curry. So you get your five a day with beans and aubergine, tomatoes, garlic, um, onions and coriander of course. And you can add your chicken salad. Now this is the first time I'm making this and I think it's going okay. Yeah. yeah. So in after a few minutes, I'm going to add the coriander. Why are you adding the coriander in a few minutes? Um, yeah, I want the coriander to be at the end. When I turn off the heat, then I'm going to add the coriander because coriander, you want it to be fresh. And okay, you don't want to cook it in. I don't want to cook it. I want it to be vibrant. If I wanted to add the stock, stock in at the start if I was blending my ginger garlic and onion then I could add the stove to give a bit of flavor but I usually prefer to have it at the end and just a bit of green I, I, could, I could I could actually use some spinach will we add some spinach uh, the green color no I use the coriander yeah if you wanted more fi more fiber or more, more green you could add some spinach here. but you're probably gonna end up having a side table anyway yeah, that's true. So this isn't the. Uh, mm? It's not the cauliflower or rice you tricked me with. No, last week, huh? <laughs> no. There's. I have a recipe on the blog for uh, cauliflower rice or cauliflower is. couscous. So Thomas is the biggest cauliflower hater. Maybe he can tell a you the story. A good reason. So he he hates cauliflower, and I. I've done that a few times now. I let him eat. <laughs> I let him eat the cauliflower, and then I ask him, "Did you like your food?" And of course, he says yes. And what did you like most? And he would say something like this. And he actually thought last week he actually thought he was eating couscous or, or quinoa. He said couscous or quinoa. Maybe I just then, thought you cooked it badly or something. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then it was cauliflower, cauliflower rice. I have the recipe on the blog already. If you want uh, a low, low carb option. If you don't want to go um, rice, rice or potatoes, you can use some cauliflower. Now the whole trip is here. As you can see, the monkeys are here. What is it? He wants his lunch. His lunch is for the week. Did you have a good sleep, Benjamin? Okay. So yes? we are we are done here. Uh, not now, sweetie. We're going to get something good. So I'm so. just going to add the. Okay, just a minute, Bella. I'm going to add the coriander. <laughs> now, see how you just change the look? Just by adding the coriander, it's going to change the look and it looks so much nicer and colorful. So, you're going to be getting that off the heat soon, then, eh? Yeah, it's actually. Oh no, I forgot. So. So I have some cooked couscous here. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Q 
quinoa, quinoa. with turmeric and what else did I add? Turmeric, I know. So here we are. Careful now. So this is a bit of the quinoa. I didn't even check the seasoning. Mm. It's actually really, really good. I know you, you won't believe it because it's my cooking, but it's actually quite good. <laughs> Let's see if the kids eat it. Do you want to try this, Benjamin? Get up who, the table. who wants to try this and tell me, me how it is? Me, me, me. Now it's hot, so careful, okay? Not me. Um, yeah, hang on, baby. Come over here, I'll give you a drink. Okay, be careful. How's it? Good. How's it? Good. Do you like it? Yeah. Would you eat it for your dinner? What do you like best? Which one do you like best? Them together. Together? Oh, okay. Eating them together. And do you know what vegetable this is? Uh, quinoa. <laughs> <laughs> no, aubergine. Oh, and this is quinoa. Do you know what this is? What's quinoa? The, this. This is quinoa. Do you know what this is? Uh, little bumps. Little bumps. <laughs> <laughs> this is chickpeas. Okay, so Joshua liked it anyway. And would you like to try and veggie bear? <laughs> try this, Bubba. No. Would okay. you like to try this? No. Okay, not in the humor because you just. Uh, do you want to? No. Try? No. He tried. He just woke up from his nap. Okay. Is it nice? Yeah. Would you like to would you like to try Olivia? No. Okay. Now maybe can you do we this? get maybe we get one yeah. one um for Thomas. Okay. And we'll just get off camera though. <laughs> yeah, okay. So what what do you think, Thomas? That's pretty good. Yeah. Very quick quick vegan or vegetarian meal. Not too bad, isn't it? Pretty good, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is me on a Sunday, guys, and let me know what you are doing on your Sunday. Uh, <laughs> so we are busy meal prepping. I'm almost done now, so we're going, going, we're going to watch a family movie together later on in about an hour after I finish uh, cleaning up here. I like the cooking part. I don't like the cleaning, <laughs> cleaning up part. So this is me and... It's Gabe's, time for me to disappear. <laughs> it's time for me to disappear and Thomas as well. And like the page and share it with your family and friends if you think we're doing a good job and always send me send me a message always send me what is it thomas is saying something to me all right okay let's keep going yeah okay so i'll see you soon and uh, maybe next sunday thomas will be cooking something yeah. okay <laughs> bye bye, -bye.